DA's office sent a letter notifying Mark Norwood that his DNA results may be in question. And it was his DNA that once again took center stage today in the fourth day of his capital murder trial. The 62-year-old Norwood is accused of killing Deborah Baker in northwest Austin in 1988. KXAN's Brittany Glass is live at the courthouse. And Brittany, it's been a long process to get that evidence. Robert, a very long process. Today was all about the prosecution piecing together the DNA evidence for the jury. How forensic experts and police matched the DNA to Norwood so many years after Deborah Baker was murdered. The prosecution started from step one. How and when Norwood's DNA was collected. That happened in September 2011. After that, it was all about where his DNA sample went for testing and analysis. The jury heard those results from the experts. We could not exclude Mark Allen Norwood um, as well as his maternal relatives. Um, it had mounting media in it. The defense argued there is still 1% of the North American population that could have a match to Norwood's uh, his DNA. Now, Norwood still proclaims his innocence. When cold case detectives told him his DNA was found at the crime scene of that 1988 murder, officers said Norwood's reaction was disbelief. To see that voluntary interrogation and see how Norwood responded for himself, well, you can tune in tonight at 6 for that. Until then, reporting live from inside the Travis County Courthouse, Brittany Glass, KXAN News. Also